Hey guys, it's Angie from the Squishy Monster, and today we're going to make kimbap, which strictly translates to kim, seaweed, pop, rice. And I'm going to show you the way that I grew up eating it, but you're more than welcome to go ahead and fill with fresh tuna, or canned tuna, kimchi, spam, ham, whatever you would like. So let's talk about our ingredients. Alright, so in this bowl I have five cups of cooked rice, and I added in about three tablespoons or so of sesame oil, and three teaspoons of sesame seed, but if you don't like that crunch, you're more than welcome to keep that out, as well as salt and pepper to taste, and I just mix the whole thing together. And you want to keep it covered because you want it to retain that heat, so when we roll it together, all that steam and the heat from it just sucks the, uh, the filling together and makes it a neat and nice roll. And also, I have some pickled radish, and sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's white, it doesn't make a difference, you just want to get some pickled radish, and as well as carrots and some beef franks, and then I also have some dried seaweed, and I don't think this particular brand is um, available here because my email sent it to me from Korea, but it's all the same, just sushi paper, um, dried lava, dried seaweed, whatever, and I've actually found these at local supermarkets, like generic supermarkets, so you might have some luck with that, as well as five beaten eggs, and you want to salt and pepper to taste when you go ahead and cook that off. We're making a thin um, egg crate basically and this is going to make your life a lot easier and this was like two bucks in my Asian supermarket and it's just a bamboo mat just to make everything easier and tighter so let's get started so another side note I just went ahead and rinsed off my um, radish and just took out the brine because it's sitting in a lot of brine and you want to add in the salt that you want to and you don't want to have somebody else dictate the salt that's in it so go ahead and cut the ends off the carrots and then what you basically want to do is cut it down the middle like this. And then you have two parts, halves like this, and then you just want to cut it in about three times, just so you get long strips. And then you can leave these raw, but I really like them with just a little bit of a tenderness to them. So just about literally like three minutes, two to three minutes, I'm going to cook them off with a little bit of sesame oil and salt and pepper, so just to have a little bit of softness to them. So just like you did with the carrots, you're going to want to cut your um, pickled radish into strips. And you want them like this, and then you're going to want to cut long strips from this as well. Just like that. So I've got two pans going, and I, just like I did with the radish, you want to go ahead and rinse your um, franks off as well. And I just lightly misted this with a little bit of cooking oil. And then on this side, I'm going to go ahead and oil the bottom, and I went ahead and salt and peppered my beaten eggs, and you want to go ahead and slide this in as well, and you don't want to disturb this until you see basically the edges starting to um, take on like a paler yellow color, and you can see the surface not so runny. So you want to let this go and leave it undisturbed at about a medium to low heat. And just keep your eye on the franks as well because you want to rotate them. So this is my dry piece of seaweed and you can see that this part is kind of um, more matte than this shiny part. So you want to put the shiny part down. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the shiny part and this is the more matte textured part. You want that textured part upside and then the bottom to be the shiny part. So go ahead and lay that onto your bamboo mat and go ahead and take your rice. And remember, it's best if it's hot and then just go ahead and smoosh it down. That's a technical term, by the way. <laughs> and just smoosh it down, just in an even, predominantly thin layer. Just like that. And the heat from the rice and from all the, the filling, we'll go ahead and suck it all together to make a nice, neat, and tight roll. So like that, doesn't have to be beautiful and perfect. So go ahead and take one of your egg, your pieces of egg, and then a piece of your beef frank, then a piece of your carrot, and then a piece of your radish. And basically what you want to do is just kind of freehand roll it at this point. Let's go ahead and do that making sure all the edges are tucked in. And just take a little bit of rice just to go ahead and act as kind of like a glue of sorts. Okay, there we go. And then, after you freehand roll it, 
I'm going to bring it up to like the edge a little bit towards you and then just start compacting it very, very tightly. Just kind of squeeze and roll. And this is going to press all of your filling together and just roll as tightly as you can and just squeeze. And then afterwards, you'll have a nice neat roll like this. And you want to go ahead and brush the top. Just because the um, seaweed can kind of be a little brittle, you want to go ahead and brush and lubricate the top with just a little bit of sesame oil. And I will show you guys how I cut this. Take a sharp serrated knife and go ahead and cut about one inch pieces. You don't want them to be huge. You want them to be bite sized. So there you go. And I'm going to continue cutting these. And this is a great lunch, but I recommend you not putting them in the refrigerator because they will go ahead and get rough on you and you can't microwave the whole thing. It'll get all mushy and, and terrible. So go ahead and just keep cutting. And you can keep them whole if you'd like to just kind of eat like as a Korean burrito. That's always nice too. So here is my finished product. I got about eight rolls from mine, but it really depends on how fat you make them. And I hope you guys have fun with this. Let me know. I will be really excited to hear about what you guys filled yours with. Go crazy and wild with it. Have fun with it. Fill them with avocado, crab, beef, hamburger meat, um, prugalgi, shrimp, scallops, crab, whatever. I hope you guys have fun with this and share this with your friends and family. Thanks so much again for spending time with me, you guys. This is the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye!